A memo can be a very useful tool to communicate something of immediate importance to people within an organization. However, a poorly written memo can create confusion and can also waste a lot of time. If you are a manager, you should be able to write a good memo otherwise you may be creating a lot of confusion and chaos in the organization with the information. So it is extremely important. Hello guys, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to learn how to write a good memo. Alright, let's begin. First of all, let's learn what is a memo. And let's look at some situations where we can write a memo. So what is a memo? Well, a memo, also known as a memorandum, is used for internal communications which is sent to large group of people within an organization to communicate about something of immediate importance. For example, an IT manager can send memo to all employees to change password at the end of every quarter. An office manager can send memo to all employees to update their timesheets at the end of each month. A human resource manager can send memo to all the staff regarding departure of an employee. Now let's look at the sections that are in a memo. A typical memo includes heading, recipient, sender, date, subject line, body, CC or additional recipients and attachments that could be optional. So a memo will look like this where this is the heading part, this is the recipient part, this is sender section, then date is here, then subject line here, then typically three paragraphs of body where first section is opening statement where you directly get to the point in the opening paragraph, second section of body is summary where you provide any context to your opening statement. Third section of the body is conclusion where you end it with a call to action. Remember, call to action is very important. Then you can CC other recipients if needed. And the last section which is optional could be attachments. Now let's look at this example of a memo. Here, this is the heading section. This is the recipient section which is all staff. This is the sender section which is Dan Thomas. This is date section and this is a subject line which is Mike's retirement party. Now next three paragraphs are the parts of the body where first section is opening statement which is quite direct and easy to understand as you can see here. Second paragraph is the summary of context or background. The background is Mike is leaving after 20 years, so the company is celebrating Mike's contribution on that date. And third paragraph is a call to action where employees need to RSVP to this email address by this date. And that's it. Can you notice how easy it is to write a memo if you follow a particular method? The two sections missing in this memo is CC section and attachment section which are mostly optional. So guys, this is how you write a good memo. If you want to write a good memo, you can follow a simple checklist. For example, make sure the information you are writing is worthy of a memo. Provide explanation of memo in one sentence. Get to the point straight away. Provide call to action in the last part. Make sure memo is not long and boring. Remember, the shorter the better. If you follow this checklist, I'm sure you'll be able to write a great memo and avoid confusion to the people who receive it. So guys, that's it for today. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss useful contents like this. I will see you again in next video. Until then, Watch for Inspire and keep inspiring.